Alright, so I'm back with my e.l.f. brushes. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't really had any brushes at all. Um, what I've been using to do my makeup is this Victoria's Secret eyeshadow brush. I've had this for like forever. Very sexy. And I, to put powder and stuff on my face, I've just used this Avon brush that came with um, my bronzer, which I didn't pick up any bronzer in my elf haul or my last video. So, like I said, I'm making an order now as we speak. Not really, but <clears throat> I'm making an order for it though. So, um, these brushes are out now. I'm not using them anymore because I have 12 new brushes that I'm so excited to use. Okay, so we're going to start right here, I guess. Um, the first brush I'm going to show you is the bronzing and blending brush. Um, I watch reviews on these two about how soft they are. Ew. Okay, um, now I'm a little disappointed. This brush has shit on it. I mean, I haven't washed them yet, but still. Shouldn't arrive to me with crap already on them. But... They are really soft um, bristles. This is for what's it say? <laughs> Blush, bronzing, and blending. And um, some people have also um, used to um, contour. It has a few loose bristles, but nothing we can't deal with. So yeah, these need to be washed, of course. So, oh no. Next is the blending brush. This is a very coveted brush. A lot of people have talked about this brush. And this is, oh my, really soft. And it's really dense, so it can really get in there and blend the lines out and show it to you. I don't know if my camera's picking this up well. But it's really nice. And the handles are really nice too. And they sell, say Elf Professional. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this is a really nice brush. I'm excited to use this one. Then we have another coveted brush. The Total Face Brush. Which I was really excited to get. Because this is extremely soft. This is what it looks like and it's really soft oh my god it's way softer than the Avon brush I was using see how it just you can buff with this really get around on your face so too, these are the bristles red hair bristles so really nice and um, from what I've been hearing they are synthetic so yeah this is that brush I could just sit here and do this all day and then the last coveted brush that everyone who orders from e.l.f. has to get, me included, I had to get it. Well, it came along with the set, so of course I had to get it, but still. Um, the eyeshadow brush. Oh, wow. This is way denser than the one I was using. Oh, no, they're about the same. This is the Victoria's Secret one I was using, and this is the e.l.f. one. This one has a little bit more, it's a little bit wider. This is really good though too. <clears throat> but this one can really pack the color onto your eyes. And it's really soft. This is what it looks like. So, that was that. Then let's see what we got here. The eyeliner brush. I didn't hear um, good reviews about this, but oh wow. I don't know why. Um, I think a lot of the ladies who used it was um, just concerned about it not being an angled brush since it is straight across. You kind of have to go like this with it instead of getting a straight line. If it was angled, it'd be easier. But I think they said it was soft, but it seems pretty hard to me. I mean, pretty hard to me. Um, I was hoping, you know, 
would be really good is if Elf could get some gel liners. Maybe we should let them know. <laughs> this is the foundation brush. Wow, maybe this one. This is really nice. Um, I think a lot of the ladies were concerned about this one too because it was, um, it looks messed up, dude. It got a dip in it, but whatever. Come on, come on. It's really soft. I think they were concerned about it not being as, um, hard as, like, it should be. If you're gonna pack foundation on, you know. And I think they said that it leaves streaks. But I haven't used any of these products yet, so we'll see how it works for me. Because I do use um, liquid foundation. I use, my mom just gave this to me, so I used it. And it was a perfect match. So it's Avon um, Ideal Shade. It works for me, so whatever. So next we have the lip defining brush. I don't. Okay, this is kind of nasty too. This one has shit kicked on it too. I'm kind of disappointed. Good thing I don't use lip stuff, but this is what it looks like. And it comes with this thing so that you can keep it straight. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to get it on, but I don't use lip brushes anyway. So I don't. I put lip gloss on. If you can see in my haul, I bought a hell of lip gloss. So. Yeah. I'm probably not going to even use this brush, but I can say I have it, right? Next is the defining eye brush, which is a slanted brush. Slightly slanted. It looks like they just cut off the side, but whatever. Yeah. It's supposed to define your eye. <coughs> Next we have, oh I didn't even open this one, the Smudge Eye Sponge. Um, ladies said that on the website it said it was a brush, but it really is just a sponge. And I think they said that, yeah, it just comes right out, so, yeah, um, not good. Uh, but it, I can't even get it back in now, so I'm probably not even going to use it, but whatever. Then I got the concealer brush. This is what this looks like. Um, this is about as hard as the uh, eyeliner brush was, but not as hard as the foundation brush. I think the foundation brush was of this texture and um, roughness. It's not really rough, I mean, but as hard as this is, it would be a better brush. But I think they said that this brush... Um, it's good if you have little spots that you need to conceal, but bigger spots, no. So that was that, and then we just have two other ones. This is the, if I can get it out, yeah, I'll just take it all off. The eyebrow and eyelash wand. You can groom your eyebrows with it, or fix, um, get the clumps out of your eyelashes with this. And then the last brush I have is, since I'm running out of time, the brow comb and brush. It's just what it looks like. Brush your brow, uncomb your lashes. So that was the gist of that. Um, I'm going to, in a couple of weeks, or sometime next week, or maybe this weekend if I use any of these products, um, I'm going to do a review on them. Um, the next video I'm going to make it's a swatches review. It's probably going to be a little long because I like to ramble on about anything. So, um, yeah, watch that. And all the links that were in the last video, if you didn't watch the last video, are going to be on the sidebar in this one. So just check that out. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See you there. Oh, hold on, one more thing. I wanted to show you guys my shirt. I am representing a person on YouTube. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever watched his videos, but I think he's in one of my favorites. It's Fred! And I'm kind of close. Fred. Yeah. Represent Fred. Fred's hella cool. So, I'll let you guys go. See you later.